Today is Saturday, the 6th of August 2022 and in 12 weeks from now I'm going to insanely grow my legs and glutes. In today's video I am going to show you the exact blueprint of everything that I'll be doing in the next 12 weeks and then obviously I'll be taking you guys along with me on this journey which I'm super super excited for. There are two key components to everything that I'll be doing in the next 12 weeks and one of them is that I'll be sticking to a set workout routine because I always get the best results whenever I have a plan, stick to the plan, execute the plan and then just follow everything to a T, give my best effort and then I know that everything is thought of, that everything just makes sense and that I don't just waste effort in the gym. And then the second thing is that I'll be eating more than what I'm currently doing now. I'm not going to start like an insane bulk where I eat like so many extra calories and just try to gain as much as I can but basically I've been eating at maintenance for a really really long time now and I don't track macros, I don't count calories or anything. Uh, I won't be starting that right now either, I'll just eat what I would normally eat and then a little bit extra. Very simple, I love simple but that will give me that extra energy and extra fuel to get more my workouts. In terms of the workout program I will be following my latest guide because I absolutely love that guide so much. I'll link it in the description box in case you want to start with me, in case you want to do it. I've been trying to do it a few times but usually something pops up not fully dedicated to stick to the schedule and this time I'm really really dedicated to stick to the complete 12 weeks so make sure to join me i'll link it in the description box and i'll pop my website here so you know exactly where to go to in order to get it and then we can start together this workout was a glutes and hamstring focused leg workout and i love starting them with five to ten minutes of low intensity steady state cardio either on the stairmaster or on the bicycle because i feel like that really helps with warming up and opening up my hips i do five to ten minutes depending on how cold it is how cold i am but always work with how your body feels and then I move on with dynamic stretches. I always perform a few of them and make sure that you keep moving through your stretches and don't do static stretches. We save them for after the workout and then it was time to start with the Romanian deadlift. Now if you haven't actually focused on your Romanian deadlifts and your goal is to build your hamstrings, build your glutes, then stop everything you're doing and focus on Romanian deadlifts. They are honestly key to growing it. And for me, what really helps is to make sure that you keep the range of motion quite short because you don't want to shift the tension away from your glutes and your hamstrings. And you want to go super, super slow whenever you're performing the exercise. In general, it isn't about going from A to B as quickly as you can. We're here with a mission. So make sure that you go very slow, that you train with intention, and then you'll get the best results. So whenever my programs say, for example, 10 to 12 reps, it isn't the point to perform those 10 to 12 reps as quickly as you can. The reason why it says 10 to 12 reps is because that usually gives a time under tension of around 45 seconds, which is optimal for muscle hypertrophy. So if you just rush through everything, everything then that kind of beats the purpose so I go very slow and I try to train with intention and then the second exercise obviously a hip thrust I love any form of bridging I think it's great to target your glutes if you struggle with feeling your glutes then try to either lower your shoulders a little bit or play around with where your feet are because sometimes depending on where your feet stand you'll feel it more in your quads or in your hamstrings and then the third exercise was the squat with the forward lean again a range of motion is quite limited and I also try to make sure that I don't actually change the angle of my upper body um, just to make sure that I don't shift tension away from my glutes and then it is time to do some standing hamstring curls I usually vary a bit with the rep ranges and then depending on whether the reps increase or decrease the next set I'll either decrease or increase the weights that I am using so I started off a little bit heavier because I really want to focus on building my strength with the hamstring curl because progressive overload and then I decreased the weight as I went on and I even took a bit of the curtain with me because I'm just I, I just love to rearrange everything um, but with the hamstring curl you want to make sure that everything stays as stationary as possible you don't want to move your knee in order to get the weight up you just want to focus on working those hamstrings and sometimes 
if you feel the muscle that you're trying to train, so actually touch it, that kind of helps with building the mind-muscle connection. And then the last exercise that I did for today to target my glutes and my hamstrings is the standing kickback. This machine can be quite tricky to get it right and to feel it in your glutes, but again, just work with your stance and work with the weight, because sometimes using a lighter or a higher weight helps with actually feeling it more where you want to feel it. And then, you know the drill, we end with static stretches. Mobility is key, it's an integral part of your training, but also having a little bit of time to cool down after your workout will really help with bringing your body back into its resting state. And whenever you're training, you are actually shortening the muscles that you're training. So it's really important that at the end, you stretch them out to lengthen them again, which to be fair, I need to do it more and I need to do it better, but I am a work in progress. So we're just trying here. Anyways, that was my workout. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, so I talked about the workout program that I want to follow. I talked about what I pay attention to whenever I'm training. And I also mentioned briefly that I really want to focus on eating a little bit more than what I'm currently doing, just to make sure that I get a bit of extra energy in. Because obviously your body needs energy to grow. So if you eat more, your body has more room basically to expand and to build muscle mass. So that is key and that is absolutely what I'll be focusing on. But next to that, I really want to prioritize uh, rest, recovery, sleep. I want to make sure that I sleep enough because you can't really build muscle if you don't allow your body to recover because then you will just be tapping out an empty tank and not really giving your body what it needs in order to rebuild itself. That is also why sticking to a good workout schedule is important because you don't want to be hitting your same muscle groups too often or too intensely or too uh, much volume because your body needs that time in order to rebuild itself. But I also really want to focus on making sure that my cardiovascular health stays on track because for me personally, I did a bug before where I, where I really tried to eat more and really intentionally gain a lot. And I did notice that it took quite a bit of a toll on my cardiovascular health because I just, I just got a bit slower. I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. These days, I'm also really focusing on my follow along workout, which is super intense. I'll link it in the description box down below if you want to check it out for ab workouts or for cardio workouts. Like I have so much fun recording those. I do that once a week, so that really helps. And then I also uh, do Jiu Jitsu. Now Jiu Jitsu for me is more like an intense core workout, not necessarily like a cardio workout, but that's because I'm still very slow and very new to it. So I'm just not the best at it, but those little things will really help me. And I didn't do those previously, so I'm sure that, that will make a big difference, but I'm very excited to take you guys along with me on this journey. I really got inspired to start this journey because after I got COVID a few weeks ago, um, I got it not pretty bad, but I, it wasn't like an easy breeze for me either. I was quite sick for four days and then I still struggled with my energy levels after. And that really, I guess, reinforced for me how important your health is and that if you're able to train or if you're able to take care of your body, if you're currently not in pain or if you currently don't have any underlying health conditions or whatever, then you really need to be grateful. So I, I am very grateful that I am allowed to move my body, that I feel uh, no pain, that I'm not sick. So knock on wood but i really want to make sure that i also take care of my body in the best way that i can and i wanted to challenge myself um because i was like i've been at maintenance for quite a bit of time now and i think it's time for me to grow um, and what's better to grow than to actually physically grow as well i don't know it just felt like the right time for me after getting COVID. And I'm just so happy that I'm back in the gym again and that I'm feeling great again. I'm just very excited to take you guys along with me on this journey. I feel like it's a little bit of old school game for range, which is fun. So I'll definitely be sharing my progress. I don't know how much I weigh. I don't really weigh myself, but I'll try to include that in the next video uh, if I remember to weigh myself, just so I can also see whether uh, I indeed gain weight, but I'll mainly measure my progress with just the way that I look, the way that I feel, and then the way I perform in the gym. I to get this video out today as well, so we're fully on track, you know exactly where I'm at, or my schedule is, that the 12 weeks will start right now. Um, so I hope that you'll be joining me. As I said, I'll link my guide in the description box down below, so definitely make sure to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss 
any of my future updates regarding this 12 week journey and then I'll see you in the next one.